This is the Nokia X100. Looks like this has the very cool Zeiss or Zeiss, depending on how you pronounce it. Uh, quad uh, camera on the back says Nokia. It is the X100, and you've had it for a while, and you want to know if your uh, Nokia can run faster. The answer is yes. So what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you how to make the changes inside here. It's called something. Uh, it is called developer options. I'll show you how to get to them. And then we'll compare it to a comparable phone made about the same time. This is a Samsung Galaxy S10e. I will compare them side by side. You'll see with your own eyes the changes that we make helps your phone run faster. And then we, you can be done. And thank you for watching. And then we'll go back into developer options. And I'll show you how to turn them off in case you don't like how your phone runs. All right, let's get started. We're going to go into settings. On my Nokia, I have settings right here. I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom of my phone. Uh, about phone. Touch about phone. Scroll all the way down until you see build number. Build number. Touch it seven times. One, two, three. You'll start seeing a little message. Four, five, six, seven. You are now a developer. You should see that. If you don't see it, it means that developer options have already been turned on in your phone or you just need to touch it a few more times. All right. So what we do next is we back out one time. Now we're back in settings. Now we're going to touch system. Touch system. Touch advanced. And inside advanced, you'll now see developer options. Developer options. Touch it. By default, you'll see that it's on. So the important thing here is to not accidentally touch anything. If you accidentally touch something that you don't understand, uh, cancel or just back out of it. Okay. And I say that because we've got to scroll a long ways inside of these developer options. And we're looking for something called drawing. That's networking. We're going to see something uh, input, and then right after input is drawing. Inside drawing, this is what we're looking for right here. Window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. We're going to change these. Now, the first before we change them, you have to see that, that the default is 1x. Okay, So that's the number we're going to change. All you have to do is touch it, and it brings up the options. Some people say go 0.5, and it'll speed up your phone. Uh, you definitely don't want to go with the bigger numbers because that will make your phone run really slowly. I like to turn it off. Okay, so go to the next one, transition animation scale, animation off. Animator duration scale, animation off. And that is it. Push home. Now let's line up our two phones and see with your own eyes what happens, what we've changed. So the Samsung we did not change, the Nokia we did change, and let's just bring up the phone. Let's close the phone. You see how this one blinks on, blinks off, and this one grows and grows. Let's do it again so you can see. Blinks on, it's ready to go. Now watch how this one blinks off and this one closes slowly. Let's do Messenger. Uh, is that messenger on this one? Beep. This one grows out of its icon and it's going to close back down. This one blinked on, blink off. Ready? One, two, three. Blinked off, ready for your next action. Let's do one more. Let's do camera. Uh, this one needed some permissions. Well, let's close camera so you can see. Links off, takes a second, and closes into its icon. We'll do camera one more time since we don't need to ask permissions this time. Blinks on, takes its time. Close camera. So if you're someone who is taking a phone call, sending a message, creating a video, uploading a video, back to a phone call, you want your phone to be a little bit crisper and snappier, and then going, not having to wait for the, the software to open with an animation, you are going to feel your phone run faster, snappier, quicker. Okay? So if that's all you need and you like the settings, leave in the comments for me and tell me that you've changed your settings on your Nokia, actually any Android, and you like how your phone runs. If you want to see how to stick around now, because we're going to go turn them off. All right, let's jump back into settings. Since we don't have to go to the developer options uh, or turn them on, they're already on, just touch system again and go to advanced, and there they are, developer options. Now we're going to scroll all the way down again without accidentally touching anything, looking for that heading called drawing. There's networking, input is next, input, and there, there's drawing. 
Okay, let's switch them back to one. Oops. Let's switch them back to one. Windows animation scale, touch it. Set it back to one. Transition animation scale, touch it. Set it back to one. Animator duration scale, touch it. Set it back to one. Well, we're done. Now, if you're nervous about accidentally, you know, someone else using your phone and getting in developer options and doing funny things with your phone, come up here to the top bar, toggle off. Let's go back to settings. And now you'll see that if you touch system and go to advanced, it doesn't even show up anymore. All right. If that's helped you, please like, please subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.